a set of quick Frenchies really quick. Um, I want to go out. I don't feel like really sitting here doing my nails completely. So, how about we do some e-nail couture? Y'all know I'm literally obsessed with e-nail couture. So, we are going to do the Frenchies. Okay. So, pinky is nine. Let's try the zero for my thumb. And I was going to do like a different shape and just the clear ones. But then I was like, you know what? I don't really want to um, sit here and spend the time. Wait, so I think I'm going to have to. Dang. So the zero doesn't work for me. The zero is not big enough for me. Huh. I thought, yeah, zero is the biggest one, but why is it not? I feel like maybe it's just a little bit wider. That's going to be pushing it. For some reason, I have like a wide thumb, I guess, and it just doesn't, doesn't um, fit well for me, I guess. The one thing I can say, for some reason, I'm having problems with my containers. Maybe because it is warm in here. So maybe that is something that I have to change. Okay, so my thumbs were zero. Okay, let's try five for my middle finger. And then it's going to be either six or seven for these ones. So. I might do actually four because I have to remember I got to put products underneath it so maybe do four and then I'll do yeah yeah I'm gonna do four even though it's gonna be a little bit wider but I feel with like putting the products in it it's better all right so then I'm gonna try five for the, I think I'll end up doing six though, because these look a little too wide. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or let's try seven actually. It's like my thumb is big, but then like my other fingers really aren't. You know what I mean? All right, so they fit perfectly, but I think I'm gonna do six. Because, like I said, you have to make sure that um, you're giving yourself that little bit of room. So how to size these. Yes, you want to go from sidewall to sidewall, correct? So you want to go from, don't mind my fingers, I've been um, gardening a lot. So there is a little bit of dirt that I've been trying to scrub out. But it's really hard when, you know, it like gets in there because I was like digging in the dirt. So yeah, don't mind my dirtiness. Um, but anyways, so you want to go from sidewall all the way to sidewall. Literally, you want it to be a perfect fit. Let me just show you really quick. So you want it when you put it on, like I was just pushing my cuticles back. I will do that when I, but you see how it's literally from sidewall to sidewall you want it but you also want that little bit of space because when you put some of that product poly gel whatever you are going to be filling that up which raises it a little bit so yeah it looks a little bit big but it will go up a little bit you have to kind of envision what it's going to look like with a little bit of product in it because it will lift up just a little bit okay now, these are sixes. I wonder if I should do seven for these. Usually these are honestly the same. But I think I might actually do seven for these. I usually do the same size, but let's switch it up a little bit. But I also end up running out of sizes a lot faster because I use the same ones for 
yeah this just honestly just looks better like the shape of these just look better do, 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 do. and these are the french extreme square just so that you guys know because he has so many different like kind of squares and all that kind of stuff so it's sometimes it gets a little difficult to like know exactly like oh is this the 3x the 5x like it gets hard so i usually pay attention and i keep i always keep the bags even if i put them in containers um i will keep the bags just so that i could always resort back to the bag all right y'all should see that i have a big ass box of literally everything Eno couture it's crazy of like all his colors and shapes and whatever else and designs okay so first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna push back these dirty ass fingers it's really hard like i even used um like i have this brush that's like on the sink and it's like a bamboo brush and you're actually supposed to use it for dishes, but I don't because I have a dishwasher, number one. And I just am a good old sponge person. Like, I just love my regular old sponge. You know what I mean? But I have been super busy lately. Uh, side note, um, that's why I haven't really been posting. I've been like, we've been remodeling the house and I've been doing a lot of painting. And, you know, like, yeah, I take my breaks and I had fun and stuff like that. But uh, I kind of wanted to just take a break off of social media and really just like do what I, you know, this is all the stuff that I was supposed to do before I got sick. You know what I mean? Like I didn't know that I was going to get sick. So all these things are like four years behind to me anyway. I feel like I'm four years behind. So I just have a lot to do. You know what I mean? As far as... Uh, um painting and doing things like that doing the things that i could do myself all right so i am going to take the shine off the nails it is just at three because my nails are sensitive i have been biting them i'm not gonna lie i'm just gonna keep it a hundred i have definitely been biting them i want these nails to actually stay on for a little while usually sometimes i won't actually even um I won't put protein bond on. I won't actually like do my nails, like do the full prep. You know, I'll swipe it and all that, but I won't actually take off um, like the shine or nothing because I want the press ons to come off like really quick. You know what I mean? Like within the day or so, which they will. Like if you do not prep your nails, these will not stay on. If you prep them and you do them how you're supposed to, these will stay on just as long as acrylics or anything else that you have, okay? These are literally, you know, another option rather than acrylic, hard gel, or anything like that. That's why these have become so popular because you can do your nails um, in the comfort of your home. And you could do them quicker. I mean, I'm going slow because I'm just chilling or whatever. I do have things to do, but I'm not really on a time crunch. So, you know, I don't have an I don't have enough time to like sit here and do a whole set of nails, um, like acrylic or anything. You know what I mean? That would like waste my whole day away. But, you know, I do have time to do these because you know these will be less than an hour if I don't like waste time here so i'm just pushing back i usually use my uh my bit my sanding bit i take off the shine and i also like take off any extra skin that i don't need from because it's such a low speed that i could push like kind of like the cuticle back and get all like that extra my nails look so nasty right now. Like, I can't wait until I take a, the brush and swipe to them. But I just don't think it's going to really help much. You know? I just feel so incompetent when I'm using my left hand. I just feel so, like... Anyone else feel, like, weird? When I use my left hand, I get, like, really weird. A w weird feeling for some reason. Anyway, so... 
You could always use your right hand to help, like move your right hand when you're filing. Especially when you're only on three. I mean, it's like, <laughs> you really could actually put this, like you could put this on, it's not going to hurt your wrist or anything. That's how low it you should use it for your fingers. For your natural nails anyway. Now, once I start putting acrylic on and all that, I pump this baby up to like 20 sometimes. Especially when I need a debulk and I'm like taking off a lot. Oh yeah, baby. I've gone up to 20 before. I've never really... I don't think I've ever used it at uh, like 25 or 30 though. I don't think I have. Alright, come on skin. Get off. There we go. See, that's why I love using... Alrighty. So I did go uh, reverse when I was doing this hand. So when I go forward, reverse when you're doing your other hand. And it's so funny because I really didn't know that. Like, I didn't think about that when I um, first started doing nails. Because I bought this really, like, you know, cheap little uh, lamp or whatever. I mean, um, e-file. I honestly don't even think it was like... <laughs> All right. I don't think it was really, I mean, it was for, I think it was more like the cheap little ones that you could buy from like Rite Aid and all that. And it's for pedicures and all that. It was bad. It was so ugly and just clunky and big and, um, like you literally just like twisted it to make it go faster and stuff like that. It was really bad. But anyways, yeah. So I've been painting, I painted my, my whole staircase and my stairs uh black so it matches the aesthetic downstairs and it looks so freaking good but you know how hard like how many times i had to go over it and all that just because of like the railing like all the little long oh it took forever and yeah, i hated it it sucked all right next thing protein bond because i actually want these to stay on now, these are newer, so they are etched on the inside, uh, the old school ones. I don't know, like, if you don't get Eno Couture, I cannot guarantee that they're going to be pre-etched. If you buy Eno Couture, then um, they are pre-etched. So, I do have some old ones that aren't pre-etched because, like I said, I've been buying Eno Couture for a very long time, and I've... I'm going to be a brand ambassador for a year in like August or something, September or something like that. Yeah, I'm like going to be a brand ambassador for that long uh, soon, for a whole year. But I've been buying for them, him from longer than a year. And uh, he didn't have, he didn't always have them pre-etched. Which is great for people that don't. I mean, like, if you get, like, Frenchies and stuff like that, um, you won't need an e-file then. Like, if they're already pre-etched, what do you need an e-file for if you only do full cover tips? You know what I mean? You don't really need one. Unless you use it with acrylic. I know some people, you know, they get the thinner ones that are just clear. And then uh, to make them even... Because I like a higher apex, like a thicker apex. So for some people, they will put acrylic or hard gel on top. So yeah, you might need an e-file. But if you're just doing basic, like, you know, boom, 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 this, you don't need an e-file, you know? So it just depends on what you're doing. Like, okay. So yeah, like what I said, I don't know why. Maybe the heat or I had it flipped upside down. I honestly do not remember. I don't know. All right. These are pre-etched. So with um, this bubble gum gel, this is in pink. And then I also have clear. The clear is okay, but I love this pink. So what I do is I literally just take a little scoop out. Okay. And you want to make sure personally, oh, I got to put a little more than that. Personally for me, I do go all the way um, down so that you cannot see this side because if you stopped i'll show you in the next one if you were to stop 
you would be able to see where the gel stops. So you don't want that, okay? All right. Now, let's put this on. You want to just make sure that nothing gets squeezed out, which I'm kind of glad some squeezed out because my thumb is just a little bit bigger. So the gel actually takes um, some of that space and kind of helps me, you know. All right. So I have it on. Let's do, let's make sure it is. And you could even use a little brush if you want to, to like wipe away some of the gel, like a poly gel brush. You could even use an acrylic brush, like whatever you want to do. And then, um, let's just use this alpha brush. Um, I don't have, where's my alcohol at? Dang, where is it at? Oh, okay, so let me just use a little bit of base coat. You could use base coat. Um, where the hell's my base coat at? Oh, are you serious? I have like a million bases over here. I'm so dang stupid. Alrighty, so. Where is my little... So you wanna, um... I don't know why this brush is... I just hate this brush. This alpha brush is just garbage, man. I'm telling you. It's just garbage. So let's take some of that away. You don't want to press down the nail too much. You, you want it to uh, just float onto your finger. It's just I'm having difficulties. Because um, I want to... I want to So fuck it, I'm just going to use my finger because I don't like the way that alpha brush is doing things here. And you don't want to um like push the nail into your cuticle like too much i mean i will e-file that so that'll be okay but do not e-file the white because that um is hand painted on and if you e-file that um it'll it'll be gone you'll take away the white i usually i don't take this long to do my nails um, but I did kind of do this last second, so I'm just like kind of rushing and I'm not prepared and it's like, um, being stupid right now. All right. So I just flashy it on a little bit. Um, and, uh, I want to clean this brush. I don't know why I put base gel on that. I just want to soak this alpha brush. This alpha brush has given me problems ever since I uh, bought it. It's literally trash. Like, I hate it so much. Okay, let's put that back here. Maybe I'll soak off, soak some of the brushes. But um, anyways, 
Y'all know I be uh, all over the place and I be getting distracted. Okay, I'm not doing that right now. I can't, I can't, I can't. Because I'm trying to get the hell out of here. All right, so boom. Next one. So that's all you do. You literally just take it. You scoop a little piece out. Like I said, you scoop a little piece out. And let's say if I only brought it down to... here do you see the difference you could see this part is clear right here all that you could see the gel through it so that's why i always go all the way down just a tad bit like you just want to put the smallest amount so that it uh covers it that's all it doesn't need to be a huge amount and that's that. And y'all see I'm using my fingers. I don't know why I decided to try to use that dang brush. That's so stupid of me. And a dang, the alpha brush at that. Like, that's the worst brush to use. Well, you know, whatever. Alrighty. So... There we go. Touch it touch it a little bit yeah that was the perfect amount because nothing squeezed out at all all right boom so i'm just doing it down here because i had this cap open i'm just going to do it over here just so that um i don't have to keep putting the cap on it's sticky and it's just annoying so do 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 okay and then like i said um, I'm going to go with an e-file and go around that. You don't need to use an e-file. You can just use um, like a hand file if you really wanted to. It's just I'm trying to get out of here. I want to... Uh, I need to go run some errands. And then I want to take Bronnie to the park for a nice long walk. And I might take him for doggy ice cream. Um, the vet yelled at me because he he lost weight because um, he was 100 pounds. So he was like 93 or something when we, when we went to the vet. Um, so she yelled at me, which rightfully so. She's like, I kind of want him to be more like 65 pounds. So we're a little off. Um, I personally think that he will be good at um like 80 because i do like a bigger dog i don't like a, a hungry looking dog i don't want my dog looking like they're starving i don't like that look at all um i know people can be like oh but that's not healthy for a dog you don't know what like blah 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 i don't like i mean i do give him human food which i actually stopped doing that Every now and then I will give him like a piece of chicken or something like like a bite of it. But like I literally used to cook for this dog. So I realized that that's not healthy. <laughs> um, especially the shit that I was cooking for him. Um, so I stopped doing that. Okay. And now his little puppy eyes, they don't work on me. The puppy eyes don't work on me no more. So that's a good thing. Because they really were. I think I was so affected by Babe's death, right? So hear me out. I was so affected where I regretted a lot. Because I'm like, oh, I was sick when, um, you know, Babe was alive. And I wasn't able to spoil her and take her for as many walks and do this. And I started, like, regretting all the things um, while I was sick. Which I had no control over. Like, technically, I didn't have any control over those things. But I still felt guilty that the last couple years of Babe's life, she had to watch me dying. You know what I mean? Like, she wasn't living it up as much as she could um, because of me. And I felt, I felt really guilty about that. So I kind of projected that onto Bronny by, you know, spoiling him and uh, letting him get away with certain things that I would never have given let another animal get away with it. Like when I tell you my dogs 
When I say sit, they sit. You know what I mean? I am good at training them in like a good way. You know, like in in a healthy way. Um, I am not for animal abuse. Have I? Do I yell at him? Yes, I do. Like I don't give a fuck if somebody has a problem with that, then go somewhere else. I don't care. Um, yes, cause that's the only way he honestly listens. When I'm all nice and shit, he don't listen to me. I gotta yell at his ass. And anyone else that owns a pit bull knows. So I don't care what nobody says. Um, so I do yell at him and stuff like that. Uh, but I am against animal abuse. Like, I do not hit my animal. Like, I know some people, like, beat them into submission. I'm not really into that. I'm into, like, a stern voice. And when, like, I yell at your ass, you know. I'm serious. And he knows. When I start, when I yell at him, he knows I'm serious. So he'll actually listen to me then. Um, and that's good. I don't, I don't want to have to, like, abuse my freaking animal um, for them to, like, love me or something like that. I don't think that's healthy. You know? I don't like people that do that. I had, like, an ex that tried to do shit like that. And then I was not for it. You know? That's not cool. I don't like abusing animals. Have I smacked him? Like a little smack on the face and all that? Yes, I have. Like popped his mouth? I would do that to a kid. I'll pop the shit out your mouth. If you're cursing or being disrespectful, you'll get popped. I am not against um, like spankings and all that. Sorry. Majority of the time, that works, okay? I'm not saying beat the shit out of somebody, but a good old spanking ain't never hurt nobody, okay? Okay? Because I know the difference between a spanking and getting your ass beat. I used to get beat the hell up, okay? There's a difference. I know that there's a difference. So, I don't want all these, like, gentle parents to come after me, but if that works for you, good for you. But we'll see how that works out in the future. You know what I mean? Like, if you actually are a full gentle parent and you see it through and through, okay, cool. But if you're the type of parent that literally, like, uh, Kourtney Kardashian, where she allows them kids to be beating up on their nannies and all that and be hitting people, mm -mm. <laughs> I wish a kid would do that around me. Respect your elders point blank period I wish <clears throat> yeah I'm not for that I am not for um, disrespecting elders I'm not for any type of disrespect you're going to be a child and you're going to learn manners and although there's nothing wrong with spoiling your kid they're going to understand and respect all that they have. Like, they're going to work for it. They're not just going to get get shit handed to them, and then that's it. That's not how that works. You know, like, Justin's Christian. Yeah, you know, he had an iPad at 3 and all that because he did, like, it was learning. It honestly helped him. You know what I mean? Like, he loved the games of, like, colors and numbers and all that. iPads are amazing uh, to teach kids on. So, there's nothing wrong with having that kind of stuff. But has there been times where when he's throwing a little tantrum, has it been taken away from him? Yes. Definitely. You know what I mean? I don't know how I got on the top. Y'all know I'd be all over the place. But I just think it's like, you know, you should be like that with your kids. Spoil the hell out of them. Give them everything you never was able to have. That's what I want to do. But at the same time, they're going to appreciate all that they have because they, they need to know that not every kid is like that. Not every kid gets a good Christmas. Not every kid you know, has the newest sneakers and has all the newest things or have, you know, a four bedroom house with a yard and a picket fence and a trampoline in the backyard in a pool. Not every, not, not every freaking adult has that, you know what I mean? And when someone 
isn't suffering at all and they're able to have so much, they should respect it and they should know so that they could like really appreciate it. I feel like, you know, they appreciate it on another level when they know like, dang, not everyone has this, you know, like, oh, my dad must have worked hard for me to, uh, and I'm not saying parents that don't have that don't work hard because to be honest, everyone knows that everyone has different walks of life and different complications and different things that happen that hinder them from getting, um, certain things. And I understand that. But at the same time, I want Christian to know, like, dang, my daddy worked hard so that I have everything he didn't have. You know, me and Justin, we're so alike in so many ways because of even our childhood and the way we grew up. And uh, the things that happen to us are just unspeakable. And they they should have never happened to a freaking kid, you know, like it's ridiculous it's absolutely ridiculous. But anyways, let's stop talking about that negative shit. So, y'all see that I'm flashing them on, correct? So, I only have two nails left, and it's been 30 minutes. I kind of bullshitted for half of it. So, honestly, you know, breaking down what I do, um, like the part that I actually did nails has been only probably like 15 minutes. That's why I said I love getting the Frenchies. Yeah, I know that they are a little more expensive than the clear ones, but it also takes away all my problems. So I like buying the Frenchies. I have them in black. I have the stiletto version. I have the mini version, the mini sculpted ones. I have them all because I freaking love, and don't get me wrong, I like the clear ones too because then I can do whatever I want to them. But I also have the Frenches for days like this where I don't want to sit here and paint them. I don't want to design them. I don't want to do anything. I just want some cute Frenchies. Boom. They're done for me, you know? So it's just a lot easier. But anyways, like I, what I was going to say is... I am flashing them, but I will put them in the lamp for a full 60 to 90 minutes, depending on whatever I feel like at the moment, to be honest. I ain't even gonna, gonna front. It's honestly whatever I feel like at the moment. Sometimes I do 60. Sometimes I do a little extra. It just depends on what I want to do at the time. All right. So I need a little bit more. And I've used this tub, I don't even know how many times, like, honestly, at least five times. And y'all see, I do it all the way down to like the line or whatever I'm going to do. And I've used, I've done a lot of Frenchies with this. And I'll show you how much I still have in the tub. I still have a lot in the tub. Look how easy this is. I freaking love it. Because the poly gel, I'm not a huge poly gel fan. Um, I started liking it a little more because Enel Couture's poly gel is really, really good. Um, I only ever tried McCart's and Models 1. And what else? What other poly gel? Yeah, McCart's and Model And McCart's isn't bad. But when I tried Enel Couture, the texture of it, like the consistency is a little bit different so when i actually used it i was like oh okay i actually like poly gel um so poly gel isn't bad it's just i don't use it a lot you know and once bubble gum gel came out it was a wrap for me that was when I really, really loved the full cover because now I don't have to do acrylic now I don't have to do oh I just All I have to do is just do this. 60. All right. So like I said, 60 seconds, 60 to 90 seconds, whatever you're, whatever you want. But boom, bitch, full Frenchies and it's 34 minutes and I bullshitted and talked because y'all know that's just how I am. Okay. Even when I say I'm not going to do it, y'all know I'll be running my mouth. Um... And going off and doing whatever and saying whatever I do. But anyways, so that's how quick. 34 minutes it's been. 
and all I'm going to do is take a quick e-file around the cuticles because that's the one thing that helps them. I do not like the way uh, press-ons look, but when I use an e-file, or honestly, what I usually do, but I don't know why I didn't do it, I usually take a file and go around them before I even put them on. That's what I actually usually do, but... um. My dumbass kind of, um, I forgot. But, uh, yeah, I usually actually just take, this is perfect for anyone that does not have an e-file. Just take a file and literally slim down the cuticle part so that when you do put them on, it's really, really slim around your cuticle and it'll look like they're sculpted nails. It'll look like it's open. It. Okay. My bell palsy eye. Like this one just leaks. Oh my gosh. Did y'all see that Justin Bieber? Like got diagnosed with that. And he has like a half of a frozen face. Just like me. I mean mine's getting better. But literally the same thing. Like. There's like no reaction. I'm I look dead in this side of my face. It's gotten a lot better. Like before, I've shown y'all pictures. Y'all know what I look like before. It literally drooped so bad you could not. It was bad. I'm gonna do a little extra, extra. I can't believe that Haley Bieber had a freaking mini stroke and then, but the word is, is that it was Corona, the jabby jab. I heard that they recently like did something with that and that's why, because I do find it funny that she had a mini stroke, right? But supposedly she has some hole in her heart. But she's 20-something years old. She never had any complication until all of a sudden now. Bruh. She's had checkups. She said that she's a health nut. And if you're a health nut, they've never known that you had a hole in your heart. Uh -uh. I don't know. Seems a little funny to me. Seems a little funny to me, but you know what? Oh, let me turn this on. I got to do top coat. All right. So anyways, now, boom. I am going to take the E. I'm not. I want to make sure I do not touch the white, though, okay? I just want to make sure I do not touch the white at all because I am going over with another top coat because these are technically top coated so you could literally just put them on and go if you put them on perfect um, but I don't like the way it, like, looks near my cuticle, like, ever. They look, like, decent, you know? Like, they look good for, but it's just that extra oomph, like, I feel like when you're a nail tech, you just want that extra oomph. You know, you just go that extra mile to make it perfection. It'll just look more like... It'll just look more... Um, sculpted. You know what I mean? So today it's like 70 out, but... No sun, and it's like, 
kind of a cool breeze. It's like a perfect day to go walk in Brawny because, you know, when it's like super sunny out, he gets hot very, very quickly. So sometimes I carry like two bottles of water and then we'll hide like in the shade and stuff like that. Or he'll go like under a car or something. And um, like I make sure my dog is good. Like I carry treats and I carry bottles of water just so that he will never like, you know, not feel good. But today's like a perfect day to take him out. Because he will feel amazing out. And these ones, um, they're not as huge of an apex. They're the uh, extreme square. So for people that like a huge apex, I could see you taking like hard gel and just going over it a little bit. Um, I don't know if I, I wouldn't do, I mean, you can do acrylic, but I personally wouldn't do it. I would stick with gel. I would put acrylic underneath, you know, to apply them, but I would not, um, I wouldn't put acrylic on top, unless they're the clear ones, you know, if they're clear, I would put them on. So is anybody else into like Demon Slayer anime and all that? Because this bitch right here is obsessed. I've watched anime before, but like I never really gave it like fully. Like I like more like Korean dramas and all that. Um, But I never really gave like anime a real, real good chance. And bro, I'm obsessed. Like literally obsessed. Like for life. Like life type shit. Like, if I had to pick, I would pick anime over anything for the rest of my life. If I had to pick one thing to watch for the rest of my life, it would be anime. Like, that's how deep this is. That's how deep it goes, bro. Trying to get next to that yeah, so I'll kind of push this a little too far in. So I'm trying to make it look like this is where it goes. There we go. Looks way more natural that way. But yeah, Demon Slayer is amazing. I just bought, uh, I bought Justin a, um, it's the Water and Fire Breathing Book for Demon Slayer. And then also just some like C++ and like coding and like some other book from Barnes and Nobles for Father's Day. That's what I got him. And I made him obviously a home cooked breakfast. Orange juice, coffee, you know, spoiled him a little bit. And then we went out. And then we went out. Yeah, get that dirt off me. So I feel like this is taking longer than, like, actually applying the the nails like literally taking longer which is fine like like I said I'm not in a super rush I just didn't have time to actually sit here and like do these do Frenches like on myself like with acrylic you know what I mean so I'm not like in that much of a rush
there's a little piece of like gel that came over that I'm trying to like cut. Maybe I'll get it with an e uh with a hand file. But yeah, comment below. Please like my video. Comment below if you guys are into anime and what's your favorite anime. Because I'm like obsessed. Like, I'm getting Funimation, but I have Crunchyroll right now. Like, this is how much I like, like Naruto and all that. I bought the box set of English because like there's only so much in English on uh, Netflix and Hulu and then I had to watch it the rest of it on Crunchyroll but I wanted to watch it in English so bad and then I got Justin into Naruto so now he's obsessed <laughs> we do that to each other like literally in so many shows and stuff like that but um I, wa I bought the box set it was originally 200 and then I was looking around, looking around. I had to buy it from Malaysia. Oh, no, 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 no. I bought, I bought one from, I think they were from like Jersey or something like that or somewhere. I don't remember. I think they were in America because most of them were in Malaysia, but then I tried to find something that was, um, in the country so i finally did and then um i wanted to make sure that the front of this has that little uh middle piece Okay. Well, I guess you could go over it with more white if you really wanted to. It's like the part where like they break it off, you know, like when you buy them in the round thing and you got to like snap them off. I could have did this with the e-file because some people yeah maybe I will just do it with the e-file They, they curve in a little bit instead of being like completely straight. So I just want to make sure that they stay like that. I like that look. I like when they, they're not completely straight and they have like that peak on each side. I like that. So I'm holding the EFO like this and literally just taking it in the middle and kind of rounding it. And taking away that little nub and also making it a little more extreme. There we go. Oh my god, these are so sexy. These are sexy as hell. Oh, this is, uh, I remember when I used that, I didn't like that. I wonder why I got it off of uh, Amazon. Okay. So I'm about to clean, um, brush my cuticles, get away all the dust, and then uh, top coat it. Top coat this bitch.
Okay. Right, make sure I remember I gotta bring a bowl. I gotta fill up the treats and the uh, I already have dog poop bags in my purse. That's one thing I'm really diligent on is I make sure that uh I always have like poop bags and stuff like that. Cause you know, like it's just disrespectful. Some people really take care of their yards and you could tell, you know, and uh, I try not to even have Bronnie go on anyone's yard, but if it is an open, like, you know, front part and he, you know, goes near it or whatever like that, I make sure to clean it up and try to get like everything. I don't like that. I just find it disrespectful. So I always clean it up. Just, you know. Because I don't want people doing that to my yard. My freaking neighbor keeps doing it. Well, she doesn't do it anymore because I said something. But she was just letting her dog come over here. And instead of them shitting in their little patch that they have over there. Because it's a an apartment building. She was having him come over here with his big ass piles of shit because he's a big ass dog. And don't get me wrong, he like gets along with Bronny and stuff, but like this is not his shit yard, bro. Like don't be letting him come over here. And then she tries to use the excuse, oh, I'm sorry, he just got out. Like so he gets out every single day. And at, now that I said something to her, he hasn't been over once. But I thought your door was broken and you couldn't help it. Obviously. And I just feel bad because she doesn't take care of that dog. I took a picture of that dog like outside. And I was like, if he's still out here when I come back out, um, I'm calling the dog warden on her. Because she makes that dog sit outside with no food, no water for a while. And then I have to go over there and I give him like bowls of water and stuff like that. That's just how I am. I'm not going to allow an animal to be tortured with, you know, the lack of water and food because you don't know how to take care of an animal. Okay? We domesticated these creatures. Okay? If they were in the wild, fine. They'll take care of themselves. But if you domesticate a creature to the point where, you know, they can't take care of themselves anymore because... You know, they have been domesticated. Feed their animal. Feed them. If you're going to buy or get an animal, make sure you are capable of taking care of them. Okay? <laughs> Seriously. I just took... Bronny has been coughing a little bit. And I was afraid, and he was throwing up some of his, like, not his food, but, like, stomach acid and stuff like that. So what did I do? I called my vet that I've been going to for absolutely so many years. Since I moved back to this area, since I was 20 years old, I've had the same vet office. And, uh... Got blood work done, got a whole checkup, got his shots for the year, blah, blah, blah. Over $300, but I don't care. You know why? I knew it was going to not be cheap, but that's what I signed up for when I have an animal, okay? Buying his food and taking care of him, that's my responsibility. That is our responsibility as pet owners. And if you don't feel that way, then you should not be a pet owner. Point blank, period. You shouldn't be a pet owner. And that's that. Don't be a pet owner. And that's fine. You don't have to be a pet owner. There's plenty of us that love our animals and that will treat them well. Um, but it ain't you, obviously. So go about your business. You know, like... But don't have an animal just to have an animal just to like, I feel like some people like to just show it off like, oh, I have an animal. I love animals. I'm like the animal person. And I'm like, so, you know, I'm, you know how some people think that like it makes them look more approachable or more lovable or like, oh, you know, I love animals. I love cats and dogs and blah, blah, blah. And 
You know, like they think that it makes them look something away, and it's not true. No, we usually see through that by the way you treat your animal and the lack of food it looks like it gets in its body. <laughs> So, I don't use shiny a lot, um, which it's a stupid reason, but I love the bottles, and I'm even like that with some makeup, where I literally will not use it because I love it so much, which is stupid because, like, I could just buy another one, but it's like, I don't know, I get attached to things, um, makeup, and just certain candles where it's like mm, you should probably use it like that's the whole point of the like it's it's here to be used you know it's just stupid i'm just stupid so it's like it's nice and just like it gives it body and just i love it all right i'm gonna just do these two really quick just so that the thumb doesn't um you know, like, move. I usually do the thumb by itself, but I kind of fucked up and started just going to the next one, so we're just going to do them together. Okay? Just to give a little freezy. Just a little freezy. That fucking bug is killing me. Alright, a little freezy. But yeah, um, this stuff is really, like, the quality of it is just so up there it is thick though so if you don't like a thicker top coat then it's not for you um yeah if you don't like thicker top coats then yeah it's not for you but just you know use less than float it on and just use less if you want it you know make sure you wipe your sides it won't bulk it up if you use it properly um, but you know, everyone's difference. I like thinner, uh, also it just depends on what nails I'm doing. Uh, cause this shit looks like glass. Like it makes your nails look like glass. So that's why I love this stuff because it will like, oh my gosh, it just looks so good on a nail. It looks really crisp. That's the word I'm looking for because it looks so glass-like. So, you know, it just... I really like it a lot. I should just start using it. Fuck it. I'll buy more. I have to start using it because this stuff is just so much better than other top coats, man. It really honestly is. It's crazy how much better. This one bug is just driving me crazy. I need to get my damn... Um, I have the kit and everything. It's just my lazy ass haven't hasn't fixed it. But I think that's gonna be tomorrow's. I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Hey baby. Okay, make sure. Um my one window, uh and I mean, this is sad to say, but Babe broke it, like, um, out the window, the, uh, film. My mind is literally going blank. blank. But I bought the kit to fix it, and I have tape that looks like it, like the screen. It's a screen kit, and I just haven't fixed it yet, because I'm lazy. So, I need to fix it, okay? That's just it. And I I love fresh air. So like when it's nice out, I open the windows and the one window just has a broken film and I need to fix it. It has a broken screen film. Yeah, I need to fix it, but whatever, I'll do it tomorrow. 
I need to honestly do it because this book and I have one of those zappy things like I normally don't like to kill animals and bugs and stuff like that if I could like take it outside I will but there are certain things there's these like prehistoric little bug things they die straight kill their asses don't like them at all ladybugs i'll just let them flow like there's one there's like one or two that usually like chill by in my bathroom i let them go um but the prehistorics and these flies no they're disgusting and i usually i have this um spray like it's a bug spray but it's for the outside of your house so i usually spray the frame Maybe it washed off because it did rain. I might have to spray another go. I will do, I do it even in the house because like this is a sunroom. So it's not like it's like the best quality. It doesn't have like everything. Like if I were to get this room done, they would put, you know, more on this wall and drywall and all that. Like this, this wall wouldn't be shown anymore. So, I need to, um, I need to get it fixed and I need to spray. I need to fix and spray, fix and spray. fix and spray i think i actually have most of this is done in this bottle like not most but like it's getting down there actually i've used it quite a bit because i'm finding myself having to, to like twist the bottle around to get more out of it so i must have used it more than i realized You want to make sure like you put a good coat on um, the nails so that it doesn't like separate. I find that young nails that happens to quite a bit, even when I don't do anything, for some reason it, uh, it like separates. It makes like this little, like it just, it'll be all like top coat and then little circles where the top coat like went away melted into like the rest of the top coat but then there's like a circle of nothing and it irritates the hell out of me because then I have to e-file like all of that smooth again just to put more or I could have put a dollop in there and try to like float it over it to make it I guess I could do that too I shouldn't have to that's it point blank I shouldn't have to all right, let's turn this off so I can do the rest of these. I am definitely needing some um, cuticle oil. I definitely need cuticle oil. My mouth is so dry right now. Like, I really want to um, drink something and sometimes if you have like if you don't have Eno Couture um, gel tips and they're like a little bit thin for your taste and you want to get it to make it like a little bit thicker and like more sturdy i would definitely top coat the bottom some people base coat it and top coat it so whatever you feel comfortable with and like you know if you have the time to do that after you do your nails i would definitely oh and the other thing is that if you do have that gel i made sure to wipe it with a swipe but if you put that gel down just like poly gel you have to make sure you wipe it so that the dust doesn't collect on it because it is sticky. So make sure. Make 
make sure you swipe it or wipe it or do whatever, okay? And if you do, by mistake, hit a little bit of the white, obviously before you top coat, just hit it with a liner brush and a little bit of white and uh, call it a day. Or if you are going to be using gems and all that, just put a gem over it and then you won't know. You know, it just depends on what you're doing. If you're keeping it just Frenchy, then do something about it. If you don't want to do something about it, then don't. And make sure that no, like right here, it, um, it kind of uh, buckled out a little bit. I knew I used a little too much right there. So make sure you run your finger on the sides of the nails so that you pull any imperfection any bubbling like bulging you know what i mean you don't want the nails to bulge there we go baby you do not want them to bulge okay and that's it yeah i know i took an hour i knew i was gonna take an hour i even said it just because of the way i run my mouth and talk 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 I talk so much, my mouth is dry as shit right now. But yeah. Boom, Frenchies. Less than an hour. I, it would have taken me three hours to do these if I did acrylic. And that's like rushing and not really like doing them really good. I bet. I bet. Yeah. Oh, and look at these. I will probably wipe my nails just because I usually do that. Just in case I missed a little sticky part. I don't know. I didn't. And these, obviously, you don't need to wipe them um, because uh, they're non like wipe, whatever. Yeah, they're no wipe. There are no wipe. Oh, I actually have some right here. Good. I need to put some. My mouth is. I was just so dry that I want to. Or my mouth is so dry that I feel like my lips are dry. Do they look like that on camera? I mean, I do like lip mask literally every night. And I, um, I slug. I do all that shit. I don't play that. You know, I'm trying to still look young. I'm 34, but bitch, I ain't trying to look 34. Okay. So. You don't want to put cuticle oil right after because it'll dull the nails. So, boom, boom, my nails are a little dry though. So I wanna massage this in. And then I actually wipe them off. I actually wipe them off. Because, you know, it's like all kind of oil on your, you can't be walking around with that. Like you would get oil everywhere on your stuff, on your clothes and all that, so. I usually let it soak in and then I wipe it off and I get like underneath the nail. I try to get underneath. Okay. So that's it. I'm going to go out and, uh, I'm gonna go out and take Brown Brown for a walk. I might change my shoes though. Okay. Let's 
sanitizer. I love these wipes. I just love the fact that they're they look like like a baby wipe thing cuz they're so easy to come out like with these these are the other Eno Couture ones, but these are like in a box and then like you got to grab them out and that it literally is just it's the little things, you know? Like even though it only takes a couple extra seconds to grab those, I like that. Like even look, I have the wipes and I cut them down right here, but I still tend to grab those because they're right there. One is sticking out for me already and I can literally you know, it's just like, it's the convenience for me. I think that's why I love, like, I mean, I like Young Nails also just because I like the products and it's a great product. But I also just love like their protein bond and their swipe because it's in these containers. I take a brush, boom, boom, two pumps and I'm going. I don't have to, you know, grab a wipe and then grab this and try to wipe my fingers and do all that. No, brush that, doom, doom, doom. It just, it gives you a nice um like a nice direction sorry lost my train of thought but it just gives you a flow a nice flow of things you know that you know how to do everything because it's boom 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 but yeah so there that's it now in a couple days maybe i'll do designs on them or maybe i'll just cut these bitches off who knows but thank you anyways goodbye peace love you guys and i'm sorry that i haven't been on but like i said the house needs to get done so and you know during the summertime it's the perfect weather to paint and do all that because then it dries quickly and everything okay <laughs> anyways goodbye love you guys Mwah.